So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about shoot types and prices. So here in settings, you have shoot types. And here you will see all the shoot types you selected during the sign up. You can of course add new types if you want and you can edit the existing shoot types. For example, if, if I click on this one, you can see that I can change the name and the color. The color is very important because it will allow you to distinguish all the shoot types in your calendar. So we'll see all the baby shoots in blue and so on. Then we have some settings. So for example, you can uh, spe specify the contracts you want to use by default for that kind of uh, shoot type, so for the baby shoot type. This is this contract, but you can have another one, of course, for your wedding shoots. Uh, you have the payment plan. The payment plan is very important. It tells Photo Studio how you want to invoice your shoot. So do you want a deposit or not? How much? Uh, you can do everything you want with payment plans. By default, you have these payment plans, but I will show you later or you can create your own if you want. Then you have the workflow. It's for later. So workflow basically allows you to automate many tasks. So for example, sending emails to your client and so on. But we, I will talk about this in another video. Then you have the default address. Uh, for example, if this is in your studio, in your home studio or anything, you can put the address here. Uh, and you have the default duration. And then you have three last options. The first one is when do you consider you a contract, uh, a shoot is validated? Is it when the client signed the contract or is it when he pays the invoice? So you have to decide that. This is important because Photo Studio then knows when he has to mark a shoot as validated or not. And then you can, of course, enable online payment and uh, online booking, but I will talk about this in uh, other videos. So th that's it for the shoot types. They are very important in Photo Studio because everything is linked to a shoot type. You will see that shoot types is the basis of everything in Photo Studio. Then we have the prices. The prices, uh, this is just all the prices you are suggesting to your clients. So let's say I want to create a new price. And this is, for example, I don't know. I call it uh, shoot one. I don't know. Let's say this is a one hour shoot with 10 pictures. You have to select the type of price. You just have two types of price. The first one is a price plan or shoot fees. So basically it's what you charge to your customer for the, for the shoot. Okay. So this is usually, I don't know, 300 euros. This is to pay for, to access the shoot. But then of course you can sell something else. You can send, pr sell products and options. Let's say a product is a, a photo album you want to print and sell to your client or an option can be, I don't know, one more hour of shoot or something like this. So here we just want to hit a price plan and let's say it's 300 euros. Next, you want to, set, to say to Photo Studio to which kind of shoots you want to apply this price. So let's say, okay, this is a price only for baby shoots, for example. Okay, you can select baby shoot type. Then you can add a picture if you want. This is important because your client will see this picture and it's more beautiful, of course, for him or her. And I will show you that a little bit later. And you have options here, but we'll talk about la them later. So let's save this price and I'm going to create another one. So I want to duplicate this one and I'm going to say, okay, this is not shoot price one. This is the price two, for example, you give the name you want, of course. And let's say this is one hour, but 15 pictures and it's not this, but it's 400. Okay. I'd still want to use it for babies. Let's save. And I'm going to create one last price. And this is a product. Now let's say this is an album. I want to sell this album. So this is not a price plan. This is a product. Beautiful printed album. Let's say this is 200 euros and you want to apply this to all the shoots. Okay. So you want to be able to, to suggest uh, this product to all your clients, no matter what, sh what kind of shoot they, they, they chose. So if you leave it blank, it will apply to all the, all the shoots or you can select all of them here, but here it will apply to all of them. So I'm going to save it. Okay. That's it. And just to finish with that, sc that screen, you have many options here and this one is very important for you because probably you were using another software before Photo Studio or you were already having invoices. So you have to start with the right invoice number. You can put here the last invoice number, uh, your, the number of your last invoice and automatically Photo Studio will use this number for your next invoice you are going to create in Photo Studio. You can also, also select your style here if you want. 